Both of these are, are big deals. Mixture of experts is something that's been in the literature for a handful of years. And OpenAI with GPT-4 was the first one to productize a m mixture of experts model. And what this means is when you look at the common models around uh, that most people have been able to interact with that are open, right? Think Llama. Llama is a dense model, i.e. every single parameter or neuron is activated as you're going through the model for every single token you generate, right? Now, with a mixture of experts model, you don't do that, right? How, how does the human actually work, right? Is like, oh, well, my visual cortex is active when I'm thinking about, you know, vision tasks or and like, you know, other things, right? My, my amygdala is when I'm scared, right? These different aspects of your brain are focused on different things. A mixture of experts model attempts to approximate this to some extent. It's nowhere close to what a brain architecture is, but different portions of the model activate, right? You'll have a set number of experts in the model and a set number that are activated each time. And this dramatically reduces both your training and inference costs. Because now you're, you know, if you think about the parameter count as the sort of total embedding space for all of this knowledge that you're compressing down during training, when you're embedding this data in, instead of having to activate every single parameter every single time you're training or running inference, now you can just activate a subset. And the model will learn which expert to route to for different tasks 